Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is sponsored by Gelder and Cook Plumbing and Heating. And it's a semi-professional middleweight bout held under 83.9 kilograms or 185 pounds. And our first fighter making his way to the cage and into the blue corner. Anthony Holmes! his opponent making his way to the red corner daily and Ladies and gentlemen, your official introductions for this middleweight bout. First of fighter standing to my left in the blue corner. This fighter is 27 years of age. Stands at 5 feet, 10 inches tall, and weighed in at 83.6 kilograms. He has a perfect record of two wins, no losses, and no draws. With that win coming by way of TKO, he hails from Castleford and represents Ultimate Physique. Anthony Holmes! And across the cage in a red corner. This fighter is 23 years of age. Stands 5 feet, 10 inches tall, and weighed in at 83.8 kilograms. He makes his debut this evening. Hails from Manchester and is an independent fighter. Daily Anderton! This bout is held over three three-minute rounds. Okay, gentlemen, this is a semi-professional fight. You know the rules, you're happy with the rules. Respect me at all times, listen to me at all times, respect each other. Touch gloves, come out fighting. Anthony Holmes of Ultimate Physiques in Castleford, taking on Manchester's Daley Anderton. Two great size middleweights. This is what I like to see. You know, you can tell these guys have trained. Yeah, burly guys, definitely looking strong at the weight. Let's see how that factors into the fight. Ultimate Physiques brought a lot of support this evening and got a few fighters on the card. Yep, Holmes, popular, 2-0 at semi-professional. Uh, he's got a no knockout on his record. Obviously a guy with heavy hands. Yep. Oh, oh, yes! Big right yeah. hand there, Lands. Just hey. as you said that, he's got heavy hands. Yep, he has. Daly shakes it off, though. Looks to come back into things. So he's obviously got some heart himself. He didn't fold on the shot. Them low kicks are taking the toll though. You can see him wincing already. Yeah, weapon of attrition, low kicks. Designed to slow your opponent down. Take away his punching power. Nice, and it comes in again. Now he, he could use that to feint up some big shots now. He throws in that low kick. You know straight away that Daly's gonna be looking to block it or worry about it. Yep, Holmes charges the low kick. Drops on top into side control, heavy hips. Yeah, just yep. to see what his groundwork's like. Straight away gets the underhook there. He's got heavy hips. Yep, Looking straight for onto a key the, lock. Yep, straight onto the Americana. It's tight as well. If you can keep him flat down and crank it up. Is that a tap? No. Uh, it's working from the bottom. It looked like a tap, but he's actually trying to punch. Uh, Holmes has not totally got it locked on yet. It looks tight to me though from this position, he's, Aaron. Yeah, he just needs to keep him flat down here whilst he's raising his hips, he's taking the pressure off. That's on tight. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, his grip could do with a little bit of an adjustment there if I was to finish it from that position. Yeah. 
He's floated down to the hand a bit, and he's got the pressure on the hand. Yep. He's lost it. Nice. Daly grits it out. I like to see a fighter, uh, you know, not tap at the first sign of trouble. You know, if they can work their way out, a lot of people would have tapped well before then. I think he'll feel it in the morning, though. Yeah, along with that, uh, them low kicks. Holmes has got the cross face. Look, again, looks to isolate an arm. He was having some success on the feet, though, so I'm surprised that he's really engaging in the ground game, the submissions. Yeah, I think he should take this opportunity to stand up. And he does. Yeah. He's up next time before you hit the face. Credit to Anderton, who's sticking in the fight. Yeah, big low, low kick again. Ah, gets a, another trip again, catches the kick. Anderton just not just not snappy enough with them kicks, giving Holmes the chance to catch them and counter and get up on top position. In half guard. He's, uh, he's not really looking to stop the leg, and again there, Holmes passes straight away. Anderton not looking too versed uh, nope. in the grappling. It's all pretty much one-way traffic on the ground, and all he's done Stop so... Fighting. All Anderton managed to do there was not get tapped out on the ground. Yeah, and, you know, uh, you know he, he took the shot standing up, and, yeah, he took him, he proved he's tough, but, you know, I, I can't see this fight lasting the distance if it keeps going this yep. way. He's looking quite tired in the corner as well, he's looking a bit stressed. Yeah, uh, he's, uh, this is an independent fighter, Aaron, you know, from what I've heard, it you know he's, he's trained at a couple of teams, but he's not been training that long, and uh, they didn't want him to uh, fight under their name just yet, saying he's not ready. I mean, that's sort of shown itself a little bit so far. Yeah, yeah I think so. I think you know he's, he's not been able to show the depth of skills so far, but he's got two rounds left to show that. Let's see what his corner can pull out of him in this minute's rest. Yeah, and uh, you know definitely a tough guy. He's taken the shots. Uh, he's gritted out the submissions, you know, he's shown he can stay in there. If you add some skills to that skill set, you've potentially got a dangerous fighter. But as it stands, Holmes is a round up and uh, he's been very dominant so far. Yep, and here we go. On with the second round. Get your uh, corner, Blue. Corner. No, I think if, if Holmes was to uh, step up, step great up round, the aggression. Let's round, boys. Ready? He could try and blast Daly out now. He knows he's got the power. Both guys really got their uh, elbows up in the air. You know, not, not tight. Oh, throws a big right, doesn't land. Low kick, spins him around. Daly seems a bit more energised for the second round. Yeah, he's giving his back now. We're going to see a Match. suplex. Oh, nearly. No. Boom. Oh. Big shot, says the exit, the clinch. Nice right hand over the top as well. There's, there's some reasonable exchanges, but you've just got to say that Holmes is just edging them out. He's getting the better of the, the exchanges when they happen. Yeah, slightly more accurate, landing the heavier shots. Going out as accidental, good take and out. another good trip. Holmes has used that trip to good effect, uh, catching the leg, and then uh, putting, putting Anderton on his back with a the trip there, straight into side control. And again, Anderton not really looking uh, like he's going to get out of there. Went to pass from out then, but got caught up. He's now caught in half guard. I'm a big fan of half guard, either top or bottom. I think it can be a very, very strong position. Yeah, if you've got the skills, but uh, Holmes gets straight to mount there. As we talked about before, not the best position under these rule sets. You've not got headshots, um, but still a dominant position. You can look for submissions, albeit having to go up your position a lot of the time. Yeah, I think Fingers that's the, the danger. Eyes, make sure you stay up his eyes. You know, whenever you're in this position, there's only one or two submissions that you can really go for that you're not going to have, have to give up position on. And the danger is you give up position, you get reversed, you find yourself on the, on the end of a lose. A loss, even. <laughs> a lose. <laughs> yeah, stands up, there's Holmes. You want to get him up? Let's go, good lad. And they're on the feet. We're going to see some more exchanges here. Now, to me, is, it, is Holmes starting to look a little bit more fatigued? He's not quite yeah, throwing nice the push kick. And another, another good sweep there to get the takedown. Yeah, he, he's looking a little bit more tired. He's a heavily muscled guy, you know, that can... You often see guys that muscled fatiguing quite quickly. Yeah, once that lactic acid starts building up, it can be very hard for muscular fighters to push on into the later rounds. Working from top position. From where we're sat here, and you can really see the welts on uh, Anderton's legs from them low kicks. Yeah, this is like he's been hit with a bamboo stick. <laughs> Back oh. into mount again. 
He's over keen on this position, he really is. I don't, you know, uh, he's not even come close to finishing a fight from here. Whereas from side control, which he could have got to, he was close to finishing in the first round. Yeah, with uh, more and more shows you in the u using unified amateur rules with, uh, with the ground and pound, uh, you know, we're sort of seeing these semi-pro rules being phased out a little bit. Yeah. And I'm a big fan of that, you know, I believe that MMA is MMA, you know, and uh, I like to see it as, as close to um, the professional uh, rules as you can possibly get. But I understand that some fighters Time. want to be able to experience MMA without the danger of ground and pound. So, yeah, going to make up another round. Good luck. Go Again, on. Holmes ends the round on top. Another good round, two rounds in the bag. Yep. He's looking a little bit tired, though. Yeah, they both look tired, actually. Now, this is when your corner starts earning his money. You know, he genuinely, when you're down two rounds, you've got one round left to finish this fight. It's the only way you're getting out of a win is by stopping the guy in front of you. This is where your corner's advice can be absolutely invaluable. Definitely. I mean, I'm, I'm sure we've, uh, we've all been in positions where, you know, you, you're down in the rounds and you've had a corner really come and pep you up. You know, it makes a big difference. Holmes's corner have got to be happy with how their man's progressing so far. Two rounds up on the scorecards. Final round coming in. Last yeah. three minutes of action. Now the question is, does he play it safe or does he get in there and try and chase the finish? Does Stay over there, stay over there, mate. Doesn't look like the kind of guy who's uh, plays who it safe. Play it safe. Excellent yeah. fight, boys. Keep it up. Ready? Last round, go! And everybody likes to have those submissions and TKOs on the record. Yep. Obviously, you know, any true fight is always seeking a finish. So even though we're in the last round, you've got to think he's going to be uh, looking for a submission or a stoppage. Yep. Those kicks of uh, dailies have become very slow and laborious. And that's what's leading to the takedowns. Yep, and it's, it's taking no effort at all for Holmes to pass the guard. Settles into side control again. If he maintains his position, uh, we're probably going to see a finish before the end of the round. Yep, I think Daly's in survival mode here. There are ways out. Uh, I thought he might have been looking to come out of the back exit there, but yep. it might have just been by chance. It's, it's, it's the risky position. way out, but it does work. Holmes to mount again. He's got an overhook on that left arm. He could use that to... He's given it up. He's just not tying his opponent down. Daly at this point needs to, needs to get Holmes close to him so he can't sit up and throw the shots, he can't look for the submissions. Yep. And when you're on the bottom uh, on these rules and you've got the luxury of not being punched in the face, uh, it gives you more time for your escapes. But he's yep. not really working any escapes, he's just sort of, as you say, holding on and, and content to maybe just see the fight out from here. Yep. I think he's toughing it out at that moment. It, as I say, it looks awfully like survival mode right now. Big shots to the ribs will take the toll. I think he'll be sore in the morning, what with that leg, that arm, and now the ribs. Yep, but he's not giving in. Staying in the fight, we're probably halfway through the final round. Holmes Come on, boys, let's see position. something. Come on. Referee. Keep working. Paul Murphy. Last round, let's go. Desiring to see a little bit more action in here. Anthony Holmes, he's not really doing anything on top, just the odd body shot. He's starting to look very tired as well. Obviously, when you're carrying someone's weight on the bottom and looking to escape all the time, uh, you do get tired. But you know, I think Holmes is really uh, on the top. He's conserving his energy, letting the odd shot go, just enough to uh, to keep things on the ground. I think with a little bit of encouragement, he could probably force Daly Anderson to roll and give his back. He's he keeps rolling over to one side, almost getting there. You know, you just need to give him a little bit of a, a little bit of an opening, a little bit of space to continue that roll, and before you know it, you've got his back. You're in a finishing position. Keep it going, lads. Come on, lads, all the way. Very little happening here. There's even room for for Anderton to have squeezed back out, climbed the ladder a little bit, get back to half guard, maybe even get to full guard where he can start working some decent offense. But at the moment, he's giving this fat last round away, and this last round was his last. Chance saloon. Yeah, and 10 seconds left. Holmes looking to rally, really let some more punches go. You know, he, he's finished with a bit of a flurry there. Yeah. Stands up. Bit of a.
Well done, boys. Lack of clarity at the bell, but we're yeah. up. That's the end of the round and a clean sweep for Anthony Holmes, you'd think. Without a doubt, I think he's got all of those rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, third bout of the evening. After three hard fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score this 30-27, a unanimous decision for your winner. In the blue corner, Anthony Holmes. Put your hands together for a tough opponent, Daly Anderton.